So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. tonight we were talking about gear upgrades, gaming gear upgrades, just overall gear upgrades. Because I'm sure you all know, if you've been watching us, we're all trying to upgrade a little bit. I think we should add a little clarity to that, too. Yeah. We have talked, well, I say we, prior, pre-SAM, uh, Anderson and I and previous hosts have talked about consoles that are out right now being the ps5 and xbox series x this is all about pc yeah that is something we have not done before um that is something that we have talked about doing for a long time but i believe it was also due to the fact that we all knew we were going to upgrade at some point and we wanted to talk about that in the the process of doing so yep um so that's what this is going to be is us talking about the upgrades like i've fully upgraded my entire setup i've given this shit an overhaul so How, that's that's would you would you call yours an upgrade or just a switch like what yeah you, you upgraded your equipment but you kind of just bought it all in one package well it's still upgrading would, well like, so so i think your definition of upgrading is me building it myself and yeah. in my defense I, and sam actually made this point before I've never done that. I'm not comfortable doing it. And it's better for me I, in this case to buy it like this, knowing the parts. Also well, for the fact that I didn't get screwed over. We'll get into that. You know, we'll yeah, get we'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is just to clarify, like this is not console related. I know a lot of you out there use console. I know a lot of you out there use PC, um, you know, and so we're not gonna be ragging on, you know, any direction here. This is just strictly talking gear upgrades for PC. Um, the heartache, the the celebration, the fun, the, the monies, the money, the, yeah, yeah, the money, all of it, and a, and stock availability. Oh, don't remind yeah. me. <laughs> you know it's going to be brought up eventually. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess. Just but I mean, well, even even still, like uh, it, talking about stock availability, you know, I guess we could start there, yeah, because uh, that is really the biggest. Let's rip the bandaid off. Uh, that's the biggest hurdle that all three of us have encountered this entire time, Fucking and that's why it. I say I got really lucky with mine. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Like and I for got being, and for being how you got it, you got really fucking lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and and I'll I'll preface by saying this for my tower, uh, and Anderson went with me to go pick it up, uh, so you can attest to this as well. <laughs> uh, fully kitted out. <laughs> yeah, they, they, uh, that's a story. Actually, you know what? For yep. story time, Anderson, you and I got to tell our story at the end of the podcast. We, we, we won't uh, we we won't bring up the uh, just to remind you, gentlemen, the equipment that was uh, brought as safety measures. Um, just to nerf, make sure we're not weapon. we're not violating any kind of two <laughs> i mean nerf. it's nerf or nothing yep nerf yep. or nothing nerf. <laughs> getting that on a t-shirt right here across my titties yeah. um <laughs> but is that a word i can use i don't know um i don't know just so uh the heartache behind it the heartache behind the getting this the availability of, of finding the parts is the most difficult thing that we've encountered thus far uh because anderson i know you and i have been trying to build our stuff um i'm gonna throw a spitball in the air and say probably since like october maybe yeah. even before. i would say that's the first time we've talked about it together I, actually no i take that back i take that back it was september it was september because that's when you and i first started dedicating money to buying parts true yeah that's true because i remember you got your case no uh yeah end of september you got your case at the end of september uh, right uh, as I got my new job. Uh, yeah, it was in end of September. Yeah, that's right. Right when you got your new job. So. Yep. And <laughs> because you were still working, you were still working here with me. Yeah. And Sam, how long have you been trying to build yours? I've been trying to build mine a similarish time frame. I'd say I'd started looking and kind of setting money aside. Well, actually, hang on, when did I get that monitor? It depends. So if we're just talking tower, probably since like. November ish. Um, okay. I'm fortunate. We can talk monitors too. Yeah. So if we're talking monitors, I got. When did I get this monitor? This monitor right underneath the camera, I replaced. Actually, I think that was November. Come to think of it. Yeah, because I, I was because I originally yeah, on my setup. So I have a triple monitor setup and then a TV above it. 
the triple monitor so the one right underneath you was originally a 4k monitor like it was just there for visuals um and then i had a 2k or a 1440p 144 hertz monitor in the middle because that's my main one and then i had a 1080 on the right which for separate things were great in their own right so like with 4k was great for like movies and video uh, the 2K was great for gaming and the 1080 was great for whatever else I needed to throw up. Um, the problem was one, that's 7K <laughs> overall, uh, which pushes a little far. My current setup now is 2K across the board. So 6K isn't much better, but I have noticed a, a little bit less um, taxing on the system overall uh, but i just wanted it to all be uniform so one like i can have like triple monitor wallpapers but two like if i wanted to like play like microsoft uh, flight simulator i could stretch that shit across the whole thing and be immersed which would be awesome oh god yeah that's uh i can speak from experience uh a three monitor setup like that with constant motion around you and your body's not feeling that motion yep that's called sickness yeah uh i've i've experienced it before it doesn't mess with me too much like oh it, it, dude i well yeah you're, i don't know you're, i think you're, you're, i think flying would be different than uh driving it would potentially like be worse flying. but i mean i guess it depends on yeah. the person because like i mean so joe is pretty easily car sick um i know that from experience i cannot sit in the yeah. back of a car <laughs> no <laughs> and, can't do it and buses are a nightmare um but <laughs> uh Let's see. It was Buses so, are worse. Yeah. It's um, a damn boat on land, yeah, bro. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's why Joe doesn't like sitting in my passenger seat because I don't drive the safest. Yeah, I don't mind sitting in the, front of the passenger seat. It's just uh, when I get in the back, it's. Oh, like the it's, back. Yeah. I have some friends that don't like the back because they can feel more. Yeah. yeah. And it's also only if I'm enclosed. Like if I sit in the bed of a truck, I'm good. Yeah. Well, that kind but, of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, going back, going back to the gear talk, uh, speaking on monitors, and we could all kind of jump in with this as well, because Anderson, I know you got a wild ass setup going on. <laughs> I have uh, two 1080p monitors and a 4K TV. The monitor I have right here next to me is actually my work monitor, so that doesn't count. Uh, but I got a three monitor setup. Um, the TV really wasn't being used ever, so I was like, why not? And so I use it now to, um, you know, attach this and, and have as kind of like a um catch all third monitor if i need to like move something like last night i had stream labs up there as i was having a mental breakdown um <laughs> but uh you know that's my catch all monitor and then um i have my msi optics uh g27 c4 here uh shout out <laughs> shout out to my buddy uh langford uh for recommending this to me um this is actually a really dope monitor uh only downfall that i that I've had thus far with it is this monitor right here. It's a curved monitor. Uh, I got used to that, so it's fine. But the only problem I've run into is, as far as quality's sake, if you play games on it, they look immaculate. If you surf the internet on it or do anything else, it doesn't look the greatest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's I'm always kind of been the for performance. Yeah, and that's always kind of been the downfall for curved for me personally. Like, it's just for whatever reason, yeah. Curve just skews stuff in a weird way when it comes to like any kind of word processing email, anything like that. But, but then also I have, I have my, oh, also uh, this is the TV is a 55 inch, uh, both of my monitors down here are 27 inch. Uh, and then the one in front of me right underneath you all uh, is a 27 inch Dell monitor. Uh, this is one that Sam recommended me. Um, the MSI is 165 hertz, uh, 0.1 millisecond. The Dell is 144 hertz, 0.1 millisecond, uh, and both it's, it's both just, look fantastic. It's just one millisecond. It's not 0.1 millisecond. Oh, one millisecond. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. 0.1 millisecond would be hey, insane. Hey, yeah. we're Americans. We don't know the metric system. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this one this one's really good. Uh, like if I do editing and stuff um, that I've done so far, I can say for quality's sake, like my Dell. My Dell is where I do a lot of my surfing and my e editing. Uh, my MSI is so far since I've had it, which I've only had it this weekend, um, is uh, where I'm primarily going to do all my gaming uh, just because it looks so good. 
Mm -hmm. um, and having a monitor set up like this, because I've always had my laptop pushed back like in the corner of my desk. So it's kind of like a smaller screen because it's only a 15 inch screen. So it has like having to squint at it to see it. Uh, but having my monitors here kind of like in a wall fashion look really good because I can have Discord up in front of me here and the game in front of me here. And um, I enjoy it. Yeah. But Anderson, what what's yours? Because you, you have like some like... You, you look like uh, you're trying like, to hack the Pentagon <laughs> over there. Yeah, like, yeah, honestly. honestly, which he's not, you know what, by so, the way, for the FBI that's with, watching. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> but with the work I do, I need... I need multiple screens for work and I like multiple screens for my own setup. So with working from home and everything, I used to have just uh, my Spectre monitor, which is a 32 inch curved uh, 1080p uh, about, I think about, what was it? Uh, 144 Hertz on the left of it. I had my laptop in the middle, which is a Alienware M17 uh, uh, laptop from way back. This is not the new ones. It's one of the older ones. It has a 970 in it. So you can tell how old that is. <laughs> And then I had my uh, Reeking Deek uh, monitor that I bought from a friend when I used to work in a IT for a college. Uh, I bought it from him for about 20 bucks. And it's just a regular 1080p LG uh, monitor. It's really nothing special. But uh, since we all been relegated to work from home, I went ahead and upgraded my setup. So what I did was buy a, what was it? Uh, about a 45 inch uh, two monitor mount stuck it on the back of my desk and I put my LG right above my 32 my Spectre 32 inch curved and my laptop here so that's my three screens set up right now and then I have my work uh, monitor over here which is a HP uh, runs at let me I know what it runs at but uh I got boop. I ordered it back in I believe January yeah, that's my word. January, and uh, it's a HP 24 megahertz, uh, 23.8 inch, uh, 1080p monitor. So that's good for like my emails and everything like that for work. And then I have a work laptop over on the other side, and I have, and I'm currently in the process of ordering another curved monitor so I can put that behind my work laptop for when I start building my PC, so I can have a full kind of thing, yeah. full three across a horizontal one, and I can use the top two for work. Nice. And it looks insane. I think, uh, do we... <laughs> Sam, you're frozen again on my oh, screen. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's turn off the camera. Turn on the camera. And... Hey, I'm back. It, All right. It's it's Murphy's Law for us this weekend. Bro, I don't know what the fuck's going on. And you guys froze. Okay. Don't, back now. don't right. put me in that. My, my luck has been fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just y'all two. Yeah. And like uh, going back to monitors for a second, like I I can nerd out about how I mounted all of my shit for probably an hour, <laughs> like if I wanted to. Oh, same here. And yeah. all the cable management that went in with yeah. it. Yeah, the cable management I need to improve a little bit because it's not to my standards, <laughs> but my standards are high, <laughs> like above the screen. Like yeah. Same. I was was an IT guy that worked in a networking during college, and I went to school for electronic shit and yeah. technology so yeah my cable management is kind of higher standards than most yeah holy shit you're looking at you're looking at heaven Joe? over there like i, I, I mean I, honestly it kind of lit up your glasses <laughs> I, I went to close a web page and i didn't realize it was an all white background because it's our anchor page and i was like oh, oh. <laughs> that's right <laughs> my eyes i will say this as far as monitors go that is nothing in comparison to the MSI. If I'd opened that on this uh, monitor right here, I lit the whole room up. Like <laughs> <laughs> last night, last night I opened up a window and it like it was all, all like, almost all white background. And I mean, I was just like, <laughs> oh god! Like pop the shades down. <laughs> yeah. Catching a tan over here off my monitor, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fucking UV rays coming out your monitor. <laughs> yeah, but going back, going back real quick, going back to the mounts. I I really didn't. So again, shout out to Langford for this because he he helped me out with picking this out as well. Um, I have a similar mount set up to him. I just have a dual monitor mount because again, my third monitor is for, strictly for work. So I figured no point even trying to mount that. Uh, but I just I didn't really put much effort into like you know, geosynchroning with the world of my, you know, how I want to set this up. Um, it was more so just getting it mounted correctly, getting it to the point where I could actually have 
this the the main thing i wanted was like if i'm sitting here gaming and i have my my monitor in front of me i wanted the lg logo on my tv to line up directly with the center of the curved monitor and that's exactly what i did that's the only thing i did yeah to make sure it was like because if that was off i'd be like this looks like shit. i can't yeah. do it like but other yeah than that, the ocd like, kicks in yeah yeah and also well the, the that that point too is and something y'all can't see but the monitors right here there's about mm, a two inch difference between this monitor and going up to the next one so it's like and that's just because of how they're shaped you know this one's curved the the <clears throat> the size is skewed a little bit based on the fact that it's curved so the the windows can be a little different all that whatever but this like in comparison you could see the gap but to me it's nothing because i have it set up to where it's almost like a seamless transition across the two yeah yeah like so. like for me <clears throat> so i have triple monitor set up i originally before i put the tv above it i used to have the tv right here sitting on that thing um and uh and i was like you know what like i'm never releasing tv over here like all that much um so i was like you know what let me just fucking ball out and make it look like i have a fucking battle station and so i was like but uh, like the distance in which the monitors were coming out like towards me on the triple monitor mount was a little too far out for my liking uh that and I felt a little sketched out with having a hollow core desktop with three monitors sitting on one spot. Like I had pieces of wood to spread it out, but I was like, eh, this is a little sketchy. So what I ended up doing, and I went a little crazy on this, I have, so my center monitor is on a pretty flush mount, um, just like it only goes back and forth. Like it doesn't actually, and, and like it, it tilts, but like it doesn't like rotate left or right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it'll only come straight out. So that one's dead in the center of the room as well, which was very, very satisfying. The other two though are on gas strut, like hydraulic arm mounts mounted to the wall as well. Um, and so with those, I can put those wherever the fuck I want. Like I can put that like way over there in the corner. <laughs> I can put that one way over there in the corner, but I did that so that way I would have the freedom to one, be able to hit a stud and have it to where it's not going to fall off <laughs> being bolted into the drywall, but two, so I can place it at the exact angle that I wanted. And then I did exactly like you did, Joe, and the TV right above it is dead center in line with the <laughs> with the monitor in the front. And that is on a fully articulating TV mount as well. So that one I can put just about wherever I want as well. Um, yeah. And it was a bitch to set up. It was by Anderson. Did it? <laughs> What? Your 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 video just cut out. I told you it's Murphy's Law, boys. Yeah, okay, there it was. Give me a second. Yeah, just turn off your camera. We're and turn it back on. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was an even bigger bitch to cable manage. Although with all the freedom that I had on the on the mounts, it made things a little easier. Um, yeah. But now I don't have that big singular pole in the middle of the desk to hold up everything. So now I can actually put stuff there instead of having to try to squeeze around it, uh, which has really freed up a lot of space and been super, super awesome. Speaking on cable management, that is one thing I really enjoy about this particular mount. And I don't know, uh, I've never mounted my monitors before, so I don't know in perspective to other mounts, but <clears throat> this one came uh, specifically with designed clips to C-clip on the, the, the actual rail. Ooh, and then the, underneath the, the, it had another little S-clip underneath yeah. mm -hmm. to wrap your cables in. And that way I can bring them all the way back to the pole and then just uh, zip tie them right at the bottom so that way you don't see any cables. They just all funnel right behind the pole. Yeah, when I have yeah, my triple that's monitor set up. Yeah, that's how exactly you wanna, how I had it. You want to talk about a good mm -hmm moment? I mean, I, I, I did that and I was like, mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's how I have my uh, tall mount because it has the uh, cable management uh, one right here. And that one, it holds my Allen keys and everything like that for when I have to adjust everything. And it also has a route in the back for all the cables, the HDMI, the DVA. Uh, yeah, I'm calling it that anyway. But um, yeah. And the audio cable and stuff like that. And then the S-clip, it just funnels it down so it goes straight to my laptop and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, back on the fact of like, uh, because y'all two have TVs that you mounted as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've never really been a big fan of putting my TV on the wall or mounting it or using it as a gaming computer. But what I did do, because 
I still like to use my TV. I have it set up in the room right across from my PC setup. But since I have a Xbox uh, One, I'm able to use with the Xbox Game Pass the stream function, so mm-hmm. I can still play all the games on my Xbox One on my lap on my PC setup. Yeah, because I've never been a big fan of having like a 52 inch screen because that's just too much for my eyes to keep track of in one place. I'm gonna say this because it helped you move in. <clears throat> uh, he says he doesn't like mounting his TV, which is a very very true fact. He Anderson wants his TV on his entertainment center. Yep. He wants it a specific way. And I want my game that. under it. But this man mustered up. I'm talking like the balance of a damn monk, like balancing on his toes while he meditates. This TV, it's hanging over the lips of the entertainment center on the front and the back, like balanced to sheer perfection. That like, even if my big self went in there and started jumping up and down the floor, this TV ain't moving. I don't know how he did it. He he didn't cut divots into the feet of the TV. I don't know. All I know is he was like, help me put the TV up here. I said, all right, bet. I helped him put it there. He goes, all right, I got it. And I just watched him go like, squeak, 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 squeak. Okay, it's good. And let go. And it just stayed there. And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) like, how? (laughs) <laughs> okay that was okay i will say on that mystery it was literally just me doing math and balancing and all that stuff and then but tell me, I'm wrong. To test tell me i'm wrong but that's how it went down no it <laughs> went down like exactly like that because <laughs> i was just like skirt, skirt. and then i was like wait wait beep beep skirt. all right it's good <laughs> and joe was just like the fuck and he stomped over to it and it didn't move <laughs> Yeah, didn't I'm talking? It didn't. It didn't do none of this. Nothing. It was just that's it. it. Didn't even like, wobble or nothing. <laughs> damn. But, and mind you, I did this while I was also doing cable management for that TV. So it was, it was quite a feat. I'm impressed with myself for that TV. I will say, speaking on the TV though, there's one thing I do want to do now that I've gotten this all set up. Is my TV because I used to have my Xbox and everything underneath it, and my my desk was like over in the corner. Mm-hmm. Um. But now that I have this here, my TV is almost like sitting sheer face straight. Mm-hmm. I want to Tilt angle it. it. Yeah. So that way, like when I look up, I'm not having to go like, <laughs> yeah. I can actually like kind of just look up at it and glance. Just get, well, a, t- um, get a tilting mount. Correct me if, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but we did get a tilting mount for you, didn't we? Yeah, no, I just have to move it. Oh, yeah. you just got to do the physical work. It. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cause I've got mine tilted down a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, just enough to like, not have to like strain even higher up, you know, like, cause right now, yeah, this, no, we can tell the whole the last story of trying to, yeah. yeah, we can tell oh. the whole last story of trying to get Joe's mount in that fucking basement. God well, damn it. We have spent about also like the shower story along with it. 20 minutes on just mount like monitors and TVs. So, far. <laughs> so we should probably move That's along fair. to, to actual the, the meat of it, <laughs> which is the actual PCs themselves. Uh, so Joe, since uh, you are the first one with a completed upgrade, I'd say let's, uh, <laughs> let's start with you. Um, so <clears throat> uh, as I said earlier, you know, and you both know this, so this is more for chat. Um, I, if you've been following the show since we started, I originally used to be a big console hit. Like I used to be the guy who's like, I'm never swearing off console. I might have a PC at some point, but I have no necessity for it. That has <clears throat> drastically changed uh, <laughs> because I no longer own a console. <laughs> I strictly own PC. Um, but, uh, and it also, and I'm going to say this preface, if you want to see my setup, uh, or anybody else's setup here, go to our discord, join in the discord link in the, uh, you know, in the bio down below or in the description, um, wait for it. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, mine for us for a second, oh. <laughs> uh, link it down below, go join our discord, uh, because you can see the setups there. Uh, mine, actually my monitor setup as well and desk setup, as well as my tower are posted there. But, um, I spent a very long time uh, piecing my tower together, figuring out, because I knew nothing of motherboards, I knew nothing of processors, I knew nothing of graphics cards, I was learning. This is, the last few months for me have been a learning process because there's a lot of different, different statistics of like how these things are built, like all all the different specs 
of every single piece that you can buy is all different so you're learning new things as you go um and i consulted you both i've consulted multiple other friends on what to do well originally uh my build was gonna be uh just a simple motherboard uh i was gonna go with an amd ryzen 7 uh and uh actually i think i still have the list on pc part picker let me pull that up real quick uh you should if you haven't erased any of your cache or anything like that uh and i do not well he is on a new computer so yeah yeah Yeah. that's true that's true i'm on a new computer yeah Um, if you had an account you can log in and save your uh save your parts but yeah it is boring i like living on the edge (laughs) um but uh i so i uh you know i went through and and the the big pieces here amd ryzen 7 reason i was going to go amd was because of editing and gaming um which intel i'm gonna get to this i have intel now and intel has done phenomenally it's not so it's i mean it's not bad it's just amd's better on the editing side yeah it just depends Um, on what you need to use it for yeah that's all correct so um i had planned on going amd ryzen 7 uh i had planned on going with a gtx uh 3070 um (laughs) and uh there was one other thing what was it oh and i wanted uh, specifically uh i got the case that both sam i wanted the case that both sam and anderson got uh, keep in mind we did not discuss this at all we we didn't did not all, cases. all three of us just somehow happened to go huh the fractal meshify c looks really good let's get it that's right and there. i'm the only one it's right who there. didn't get it yeah <laughs> i have my pictures up back there nice <laughs> yeah his white was right back there so it was funny the day i was planning on purchasing mine anderson and i was like yeah you, you, hey well, let's go on and purchase them so we're both shopping he comes in he goes all right mine's bought and i'm like all right cool i'm about to submit mine i said which one did you get he goes uh, oh i got fractal i was like oh me too and i looked at him i was like which one and he goes oh the mesh 5c i was like in white he goes yeah and i was like damn it <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's where we differed though uh so i got the black one correct that's fair correct. yeah um i just want the white one because i could put a doom sticker on it yeah fair fair um but for mine um i don't know the exact name of my case when i bought it so uh to give a little backstory uh again i had been shopping like crazy trying to find parts and finding parts that i wanted was difficult i had everything else the graphics card was the hardest part but i didn't want to buy everything without having the graphics card because i knew i was going to want to put it together and play uh parts will do the fact if you tuned in friday night yeah friday night sam and i just hopped in here and we were playing valheim and we were talking briefly about my new setup because i just got my monitor in i got my tower set up my laptop is still sitting right here behind me on the floor because I've not cleaned down here at all. I've had a very busy weekend. That is actually happening right after we're done here. Um, but the laptop just wasn't doing it for me anymore. So I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I need to do it all at one time. That way everything comes in and I can build it and rock and roll. Again, I have no knowledge of building these things. So there's this little voice in the back of my head going, bitch, you don't know. <laughs> like you ain't gonna be able to do that. But one random day, a couple weeks ago, I've been browsing Facebook Marketplace like crazy. I've been browsing uh, so many different sites, different apps, looking for uh, graphics card, looking for 3070 like crazy. Couldn't find one. I'm browsing Facebook Marketplace, and the, and when you start searching enough for something, you know your recommendations start popping up, showing you things that are similar to what you've been searching. Well, I see this tower put on there for sale. It was uh, it just, all it said was 4K uh, capable, 2080 super tower or pc and i went "Hmm." let me look at it and so i look at it as a matter of fact langford had uh come over and we were hanging out the guy who helped me out with my monitor in my mount and i was like hey do me a favor you're you're really pc inclined here you know all the stuff look at this and tell me if anything on here looks odd he looked at it and he said uh no this looks like a great pc looks like a great pc i said okay cool um and I'm actually gonna pull this up so I have all the correct specs in it. Um, so I, I went ahead and I was like, great. You know what, I, I messaged the guy and the guy was super, super awesome to work with. Uh, he, I, I did, I will admit, I did try to lowball a little bit just cause I was like, let me see, let me test the water. <laughs> I mean, that's just you though. <laughs> you I mean, well, that, that. And it's, that's Facebook marketplace for you. Like, yeah. 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 It's but like he, eBay, but better. But the thing was like what sold me 
was the PC had already sold me. I wanted the PC. I was like, yes, this is exactly what I need. This is exactly everything I need that I can have that'll work at least for the next couple of years. And then I can upgrade later on and be good to go and just keep on going. The case looks great. The case is actually like a, uh, almost like a broken glass look. It has three triangle panels on the front of it that are all not necessarily symmetrical, but they all look like it's. So it's isometric. Yes, but it's, 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 uh, it's, what's the word? Um, fractured. That's one thing. I kept thinking of fractal, but it's fractured, <laughs> it's fractured look along the, the uh, angle there. Uh, the side of it is, of course, tempered glass, so I can see any RGB going on. Got some RGB fans, some RGB RAM. Not a whole lot of RGB going on here. I'm going to do that later. That's not a necessity for me right away. Uh, I just wanted a working PC. But what I have in here is an Intel uh, i7-9700K, uh, 3.6 gigahertz, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, and a 2080 Super. Uh, I don't remember what motherboard is in here, uh, but um, I've got uh one hdmi uh three di uh, uh three digital ports i've got i've got 3.0 ports out the ass on this thing um what else is it there was one other thing that i want uh, remembered um oh and i had to install thanks to sam i had to install an extra sata cable for my uh sata drive that i had in my laptop i transferred it over to my tower and that way I had extra storage, also moving my games over from that onto here. But the guy sold it to me. Now keep in mind, 2080 Supers, and this is brand spanking new. He built it himself. Dude does custom builds. The 2080 Super is going for what right now? Somebody tell me. Like two grand. Like 399. <laughs> oh no, like okay. if you try to find one, like scalpers have it at like two grand. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's scalpers yeah. do, but market value has it. Uh, yeah, three ninety nine. Twenty eight. Well, so technically, technically, current market value is what the scalpers have it at because those are the only ones you can find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I see one on here already for like one point five k. Yeah. Yeah, I bought my tower for fifteen hundred. Yeah, that's really good. All of it, all yeah, of it so together, and it's it's clean. The he wired it perfectly. Everything is clean in it. It, I had no qualms or quarrels. Like I said, Anderson went with me to go buy it. I met the dude. He lives two hours away. We met in the middle. Um, and I mean, he was a super chill dude to work with. What I was saying earlier was that the thing that sold me on it, I was already sold on the tower, but it was his demeanor in the sale because I knew the tower was exactly what I needed uh, with everything already pre-built. I didn't have to do any of that work because I'm not comfortable doing that since I don't know how. Um, and it's not necessarily something I don't want to learn. It's just something that, to get that out of the way, I, it's not that I don't want to learn. It's just, I'm not comfortable doing it right now. Yeah, on your first one, it's just like, yeah, I kind of I kind of want to learn it, but I also don't want to fuck up my only chance to have a PC, so. Yeah. And the way I look at it too is this, is as I upgrade parts, it's going to give me a chance to learn that. Yeah. It's going to give me a chance to see the inner workings of how to install correctly and actually being able to put that together. So at some point when I do decide to do what Sam did, and build a brand new PC, or like you're doing where you're building a brand new PC, I then can go, okay, I could start from the case and work my way out on all the parts I need and build it out the way I need to, you know, and, and be good. Uh, but the dude was super chill, super awesome. He doesn't have like a business or anything. He just does it for fun and then sells them because he has nothing to do with all these custom built towers at home. Um, but yeah, that so I've got that That's a great all... problem to have, damn. <laughs> I know, damn. I wish I had that problem, fuck. Yeah um but uh yeah so i um i got this and uh i will say i'm not gonna give any names out of course but he told me a little secret uh and that and not, so i'm not gonna give detail either i'm just gonna simply say he has the hookup and there are people who are robin hoods of modern century out there who are helping pc player uh, players finding graphics cards who are actually buying up with bots uh graphics cards to make sure they can get back on the market at wholesale value yeah and hey, that's and that's been the champion of the people that's been my struggle lately <laughs> yeah which so i can go that's more into my that. pc build yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll go to that next i'm just gonna in conclusion again if you want to see my pc build join our discord it's all on there uh monitors set up tv set up the whole nine yards um and yeah uh who wants to go next because that's pretty much everything for me Sam, I let you go next because mine is kind of, eh. All right. <laughs> so this, which is not hooked up or plugged in except for power, just so I can occasionally enjoy the, the RGB. 
because <laughs> um, that's all I got right now uh, is um, is my PC. So I've been piecing this together, uh, custom built it myself, um, and kind of like we alluded to earlier, the only thing I'm missing is a graphics card, and I will not settle for anything less or more actually than a 3080. Because the 3090 is way too fucking expensive. I'm not spending two grand on a fucking uh, graphics card, even at market value. But anyway, um, so what I ended up doing, I went with an AMD build. Uh, so I also went a little bit older. I went for the third gen Ryzen 7 1700X or 3700, whatever they call it. Um, and because uh, the fifth gen stuff was going to be hard to get, I didn't want to have to wait on that. The third, like, there's not enough of an improvement there for my, for my uses to really warrant the extra cost or the extra heartache. Um, and so I got that. I've got 16 gigs of RAM. I'm not really doing that much video editing like Joe is. So like, I don't really need 32. Yeah, um, that is really why that, that was yeah. a big debate between you and I when you were helping me build mine was because. Yeah. Uh, I was saying, you were saying start with 16. I'm like, no, trust me. I've been using 16 on the laptop. I yeah. need 32. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It needs to happen. Yeah. I mean, 16 is passable. 32 will work. But anyway, uh, so I have 16 gigs of RAM. I could upgrade if I want to. I don't know if I will. But um, and then uh, for cooling, I ended up going air cooling instead of water cooling. How's yours cooled? Is it just air cooling, Joe? Mine's air, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have water cooling on my current build with just an all-in-one pump. Uh, like a Corsair something or other. I can't remember. Uh, I've got a terabyte NVMe SSD in there. Uh, I'm going to be adding from my old PC. Um, I have two more SSDs in there um, <laughs> that are uh, solid state. Uh, 750 watt power supply. And if anybody, anybody out there has a, G, a fucking RTX 3080. I don't care what brand it is, except for like, I don't know, the PNY is kind of sketch me out a little bit. Uh, but any other brand, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as please. you're not scalping me. Less, less than a thousand, please. Um, but so yeah, I thank you. I've got all of it built. Everything is cable managed and ready to go. I am so proud of this system. I love it. I love the look of it. The Fractal Mesh Fi C is the is a beautiful, beautiful case, and it's great for uh, cooling, which is part of why I went with airflow with air cooling on this one because uh, oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be able to move air, no issues at all. Um, I love well, it's this. It's basically thing. built yeah. like a, it's built like a damn ventilation system. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, which is kind of totally... what you want these things. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the... exactly. Like the front of it's all like. The front of it's all mesh, basically, like it's air pushing through, no problem. Like you have no issues on that. Yeah. I was originally thinking about one of the Lee and Lee uh, PC cases because they look amazing, but their airflow can sometimes be a little eh, and I didn't want to risk that. So uh, this. Yeah. And I heard the screws and stuff in those cases are kind of wonky as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, with any kind of case, uh, like when you're targeting like a more, you know, like hundred sub $100 price range, like there's going to be some like kind of tolerance issues. Uh, and so you, yeah. there's going to be a higher chances of that. But anyway, for me trying to find an RTX 3080 though, uh, there's been two things that have kind of helped increase, like bring me a little bit of hope. Uh, so kind of like what you're talking about with the guy having the hookup, there is a YouTube live stream and you can honestly just look it up and look, look up like RTX 3080 stock and you'll find it. And so what this, somebody has done is, you know, all the bots that have been buying him up, he's been using those bots to constantly refresh. And then the second that bot finds it, it immediately posts a link in the chat saying, hey, here it is, go buy it. And so like he'll post the link, you'll go on there and buy it. It works really well for the 3060s and the 3070s and the 3090s. The 3080s are still really fucking hard to get. The uh, So shout out to that guy. I don't know who you are, but you are doing it for the Lord. You are doing the Lord's work. <laughs> yeah, honestly. The other thing that's given me a little bit of hope there is uh, Newegg actually has an interesting method uh, to try to sell these to non you know data miners non bots um and that is called new egg shuffle and so what it is it's kind of a lottery um and so what it is is uh each day that they have stock they'll put their stock on the website in a list 
and you go on there and tell them which one you want the opportunity to buy. And then what they do is they do a random like raffle drawing. And if you get picked to be able to buy whatever they have in stock that you wanted to buy, they'll email you with the, with a link where it's already in the cart. You just got to go and buy it. And you have a three hour window to be able to buy it. If you miss it, they'll move on to somebody else. Um, so it's a nice system. It's definitely still abused. I mean, people just have bots for that. They Newegg tries their best, and but at least somebody is trying something. You know, they're not just throwing yeah, it on the website. The yeah, uh, like Nvidia isn't really doing shit. Um, best Buy, you know, where anywhere else that sells it. Adorama is another one that I've been hawking. Um, so at least they're trying. Eventually, I'll get it. I'm hoping New Egg Shuffle comes through because I, since I've started doing New Egg Shuffle, I haven't seen a 3080 on there. Uh, it's that hard to get. <laughs> but I've seen plenty of 3060s, 3060 Ti's, and 3070s, and of course all the AMD cards. But I don't really care for AMD cards personally. So yeah, that's that's my upgrade. Of course, with the mon the new monitors as well. But Anderson, <laughs> what's going on with you, bud? All right. So with mine, so like Joe said, back in uh, September, uh, I went ahead and bought the case and everything like that. And uh, by that point, everything was good. I had my money rationed out and everything to go ahead and buy my what I wanted to build my uh, PC with. Because, I mean, with my experience working in uh, the technology industry and uh, electronics and even working in IT, uh, actually repairing devices and stuff like that, I knew how to work on computers. I knew what to do, where what goes where, and I know how to build it myself. I mean, I even my laptop here, I've had to work on multiple times and actually go into it. I've even actually uh, resoldered some parts of it, of it because uh, some of the stuff got burnt out because mm -hmm. this laptop here is like seven, eight years old. So... I mean, it's expected to come with that um, because I think back, I bought this laptop way back in uh, 2013. Thank you, Spaz. I will definitely check that out. I... That's a huge help. You good, Sam? Yeah, uh, I unmuted you so I wasn't interrupting you. Um, so uh, Spastic in chat, which actually was the most recent sub. It looks like he's uh, or not sub follower. I think you followed off stream. Appreciate that, by the way. Uh, he said, look up LTT's verified actual gamer program. Uh, Linus, uh, LTT is Linus Tech Tips, by the way. Um, they're, gonna, oh, okay. they're going to start selling new cards at MSRP to people they know are using it for gaming, which that's fucking dope. So I'm, I'm going to be looking into that. That's great. Yeah, but Linus, anyway. is always, Linus is great. Yep. And new tab. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I bought this, my current laptop at uh, back in 2013 or 14. I can't remember which, uh, but I bought it back then with all the money I saved up from doing uh working two or three part-time jobs during high school and i bought this at about two thousand from the retailer and it served me faithfully but recently as you've all seen with the streams and stuff like that it's starting to lag with all the newer stuff coming out and stuff that requires higher gaming components so i went ahead and uh sketched out my build did all the analytics uh financial stuff even looked at the data pass and everything like that to make sure everything would work well and work the fastest fastest as possible uh but then uh yeah uh 2020 happened and work from home started and then that was fine and i was like okay well i can deal with this and then work from home stayed and 2020 stayed and then uh i went through a master restructuring with uh my uh current job and yeah, so I had to, on top of trying to get my PC and everything like that for my own personal use, I had to also integrate my work environment with my with my office. So, at that note, it's been slow going <laughs> because I'm trying to make everything actually work in a well-oiled manner that I can switch seamlessly from work to uh, personal and personal to work. So, that's been my struggle with all this and, uh, of course, all the... I, the tax release and everything like that uh they have helped but i don't really i don't really like using those for my own personal things i use, usually like to use those for personal bills and everything like that you know being a responsible adult and all because uh no fuck, fuck that me i can't have it <laughs> yeah fuck me i can't have anything i want because fucking adulthood adulting sucks but anyway i'll go through what i currently have i currently have my case right here uh if you can see it i don't know if you can the mess, uh, fractal, yeah, the fractal Messify C. Uh, I currently already have that. I will be ordering my MSI uh, 
Z490 Gaming Edge with Wi-Fi. I'll be ordering that sometime this week. Fingers crossed. It's currently in stock, so I hope it stays in stock so I can get it. But uh, running down the list, the CPU or the processor that I'm dating to get is the Intel Core i9 10850. And that's because I wanted a high, I wanted a very high processor so I could go ahead and start getting into VR and uh, some other kind of gameplays that require more, uh, that have more strain than regular games. I also wanted to actually get back to playing games with the correct graphics and stuff so I can actually see shit in games. Because if you, <laughs> if any of y'all turned in to me playing Rust, I could see shit. <laughs> And everybody's like, why is the to do a boat so bad? Because I can't see shit. That's why I go off and do shit. So I'm going to speak on his behalf with this too. I have seen this because, okay, so this throws it back a little bit. I used to record at his house. I used to go over there before I had internet. I used to go over there and record our challenges at his place. And setting his game up <laughs> was a <clears throat> tall task because <laughs> his computer is like, Nah, I ain't doing it. Nah. <laughs> it would literally freeze up. <laughs> it's why I haven't been able to play Valheim and I'm pissed about it. It's true. It's yeah, true. Valheim was struggling for him. Like, he was able to get a challenge video out, and then after that, his computer was like, no, fuck that, man. I ain't doing that shit again. You can go what? suck my fucking dick. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, God. It's still freezing. His, I, oh. his laptop's like, <laughs> <laughs> it really was it just happened all of a sudden and for ever since i have not been able to play valheim yep but anyway going down the list um i opted to go for the all-in-one uh water cooler the uh kraken z53 because i'm gonna have fans in it obviously but i also wanted just to make sure i keep everything as cool as possible because i know i'm gonna it's gonna this this one i'm building is gonna be as much of a top line as i can get so I just wanted to make sure that whatever I have can last and I can easily swap out parts and everything like that if I want to. And of course, thermal compound, RT Silver 5, who doesn't know about that? That'll just be for sticking the processor on the motherboard. You know what's nice, uh, um, memory, by the way? So I got um, I got the Noctua uh, UH something or other uh, air cooler. Uh, fantastic air mm -hmm. cooler, by the way. It came with that. Really? Yeah, it came with a tube. The, the next Kraken says it doesn't come with it. No, it came with fucking tube. I, 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 I might still have the tube somewhere. I, I'm not going to pull it out right now. Ladies but and gentlemen, this is the part of the conversation where I start to smile and just nod. Yeah. <laughs> smile and nod, boys. Just smile yeah, and nod. We get, we get into the nitty gritty. Yeah. Anyway, no, uh, I'm not going to go too far into that. I just wanted to bring that up. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a terrible pace. It's only cost me five bucks anyway. Yeah. If y'all start talking more tech shit, I'm going to be like, that's the entire fucking episode, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the thing is, I, again, I'm still learning all this stuff. Yeah. Like, and, and being able to know this, like, because I, I, I can say this, and I'm not going to get all gushy, but it's like being able to have two best friends who also know all this shit really comes in handy when oh, I'm yeah. trying to learn this. Because if I was trying to do this shit by myself, like, like keep in mind, like, on editing, I'm self taught. That shit took a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to go through that kind of shit again on building PCs. I need yeah. people to help me. Yeah. Like, no, and that's what I got. My, uh, my stepdad, uh, enormous knowledge when it comes to anything electronic related and so he helped me build my first pc i think i was uh, 17 18 something like that like before that i was just running you know the fucking gateway <laughs> like or uh hey, like whatever uh throwing out <laughs> so playing runescape 24 7 what up <laughs> and uh uh and so yeah no he, he helped me build that one that one i think was like a, a gtx 550 um it was an old amd uh before they were called ryzen's <laughs> like uh <laughs> like we went for cheap because he he honestly bought 90 90 percent of it for me for christmas i think or my birthday or both i don't know i can't remember but uh, but he but then he was like all right you're gonna build it i'll tell you what to what to do and so, like, the first time I put a CPU into it, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah, speaking on that, I'm completely so, well, I mean, I mean, you went to school with for it. computers and stuff like that. Well, I went to school for it, but before then, I was completely self taught. I didn't even yeah. know what a computer was until about like 11th or 12th grade. Yeah. This motherfucker's like, I'm self taught on knowledge that was given to me <laughs> in school. 
<laughs> hey, no, I he mean... put himself in school. So fair technically, statement. That is a fair statement. one would well, say... I mean, technically, my schooling didn't have anything to do with PCs or anything like that. It yeah. was strictly... Yeah, it was a different subsect of technology. Yeah. Which I won't tell you, Chad, because fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there... but, uh, back to... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say there is a question in chat um, for Anderson, uh, and that's just like how much you think the build is going to total. Mine overall, not including the monitors, uh, once I get the graphics card, if I get it for MSRP, will be about two grand overall. Yeah, mine's going to be about two grand as well because I already factored that in. Um, including with that, um, let me see. I think uh, mine, in, in looking at the price like that, if I'd gone with the processor that I wanted, it would have been around two grand. Yeah, like, the I remember I, I had I had built it out like roughly, and it was somewhere in the neighborhood of like eighteen. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yep. But Anderson, could, I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah. So with the with what my build and everything like that, uh, I originally because my laptop was originally I originally bought it because uh, the particular schooling I was going into, I had to do a lot of programming and. Uh, engineering and stuff like that to go through it so that's why i bought the uh, gaming pc because i figured it would help the programs and running everything on the back end but also i could be i could have fun on the downtime so yeah. going back to what my current build will be uh for my memory i'm planning on using corsair vengeance and i plan on just doing 16 gigabytes but with the ram slots and everything on the motherboard i'll have enough to extend it to 32 if i want yeah. or even swap it out completely so I'll Same. be doing the Corsair Vengeance RAM for RAM, and I'll be doing the Samsung uh, Evo, uh, I think a terabyte for the SSD, yeah, and a for the HD, HD, HDD. Jesus, I'll be doing the Seagate Barracuda. Even though I fucking hate Seagate, the Seagate Barracuda does stand up to par. Yeah, because Seagate tend to lose, tend to crap out all the time. I mean, the Barracudas are just basically top of the line, unless you're getting into like enterprise little shit. Like when it comes to consumer, like the Barracuda is, yeah. is up there for sure. I mean, like Western, yeah, Western Digital is another like good one uh, that, you know, is nice and reliable. Uh, if you're talking about hard drives, I'm interested that you're getting an actual hard drive. Yeah, I yeah. want a hard drive for the games and everything like that because if I'm playing games and stuff like that, I don't I don't need a SSD to run them. I just need a hard drive to store them. Yeah, the SSD but and they the load, take care of it. They load faster if you're on an SSD. True, but I don't really care about the load times as long as it can handle it. I care about because the load I've been times. on <laughs> I've been on this I've been on this laptop forever. So True, it's, gonna, for it's gonna feel easy. like a fucking lightning strike. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna feel like hyperspace of fucking Star Wars, like. This man's trying to load up Valheim. It's like, hang on one second. Okay, this, man, this man's going to play his first game. It's going to hit lightning speed. He's going to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a fucking space ball scene. <laughs> yeah. Use the Schwartz. <laughs> oh, shit. Such a great movie, by the way. Watch uh, it. Spaceballs. Oh yeah, Spaceballs is great. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> and like Sam, like Sam said, I'm also going for the 3070, but I mean, shit's been hard to get to, so that's kind of been at the bottom of my list because I don't want to deal with the hassle of trying to yeah. search through everything. For look, it. look at New so Shuffle kinda... though, for sure. Like the 3070s are have been on there a decent amount lately. Uh, it was on the last one, uh, which was yesterday. Um, oh, there's yeah. there's two. I'm definitely going to look into it and sign up for it, especially when the stimulus check comes in mm. because stimulate myself motherfucker Ooh. <laughs> Damn, like... uh, uh, what <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say none <laughs> right we're just talking about pc but, uh, parts joe what are you talking about like of course i know you tend to zone uh, out when we talk like talk this but twitch. like <laughs> i can't i can't i can't talk about that on twitch yeah, um probably fair. <laughs> so <laughs> no um i will say uh I, as I upgrade parts, you know, looking over the next few years, I don't know, man. Like, um, I was pretty sold on AMD, but I'm kind of leaning like with Anderson though, because even with editing stuff, like, you know, I, I'd have to see or at least test out, like, actually physically use an AMD processor mm -hmm. to see if there's a visual and difference or a feel difference between with editing strictly. Um, but this Intel, like, uh, so hang on. I mean, with Intel and AMD, it's more of a data structures and stuff like that. So, if you didn't tune in Friday night, this is my laptop. Uh, it's Predator. 
uh runs great everything in it's fantastic uh this has a 7th gen i7 and a 1060 card in it uh with 16 gigs of ram and 256 onboard uh, storage um it runs fine and i say fine because it doesn't run like my tower but the clear difference i saw with editing uh both of these have intel processors in them this when i would render uh anything so if i'm rendering a podcast episode uh or a highly edited uh challenge episode throwing in different you know cuts and edits and things like that here uh this would top out at 30 frames a second render speed hmm. my tower oh, tops out at 90 frames a second render speed <laughs> yep. so what oh, once took me an hour plus i was able to go have a snack and a drink and come back and my shit was done mm -hmm. so you know like intel seems to be still a good way for me to go sorry i want to put that back intel seems to be a good way for me to go um like i said i would just have to see if amd really does a difference for me because yeah just from upgrading to a newer gen with of course higher specs because I, I understand that that's an older card yeah but this it's just it's a tank like i remember i remember when i first got it and i first started editing an episode we have our little you know work chat that we have going on in our discord for us um and i remember putting it, i was like bro this thing's a tank it's just, <laughs> it's going so fast like there was no stutter every transition played beautifully at like, on my laptop if i put a transition in that bitch was like ah, 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 help ah. They and really then, like, 10 seconds later, he's like, okay, I'm good. Like, but this, it was just like, hmm, that, that's a kitty moves. <laughs> Throw them off, please. <laughs> Got the wine glass. <laughs> you think they'll stop you? <laughs> yeah, pinky's out, bitches. Pinky's out. <laughs> mm, indeed. Like, but I just suck my dick, peons. Honestly, like, it's, but it's, it's, it's fantastic. I, I, I love this thing, man. Like, it's, uh, um, and even even still, I will say too, one thing that really got me going back to talking about uh, cooling. Uh, this is all air cooled. Now, this is my tower is not like the mesh five. The front of it again is tempered glass, but it's it's a fractured tempered glass. So there's seams that pull air through it. So it's not a consistent airflow like you have, where yours is almost like a damn ventilation duct, where it's like it's air being able to pass through with ease. Like this this doesn't have that. But when I would process something or even play video games on my laptop my laptop would just sound like a fucking jet engine taking off and like it, it's like i thought my house is gonna fly away but with this it doesn't really get all that hot like knock on wood but it doesn't really get all that hot and it doesn't it, it's there there is no jet engine effect going on it just stays cool it's got enough room in there to you know get the air out and circulate it through uh but I may still end up going liquid cooling in the future. Yeah. Um, solely because of the fact that I don't run, want to run into the issue of it getting too hot. Because I do, I mean, you both know, I know chat doesn't quite know, and you know, YouTube, if you're watching this after, you may not know, but I stress test the hell out of my computer. Like with- As editing, you should. Yeah. yeah, but, but like with editing and everything, I like, I put this thing through the ringer. And it's a tank, bro. Like I'm. You should throw. I there. can't say enough. They have a bunch of um of benchmarking stuff, like 3D Mark and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you should download one of those benchmarks and and run that and see how it performs. Because they also have like ranking systems, like uh, to compare it to other builds and everything like that too. Yeah. Yeah. That'll I'll do it. that'll really test the shit out of it. <laughs> oh yeah. If not crashing. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I I don't think with his build, I don't think it would crash it. No, nah, I don't think it would. Unless it builds properly. With yeah. our laptop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd straight up brick my fucking laptop. I wouldn't <laughs> be able to recover, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah, those are the builds. And um Yeah, I would save the rest of the optional stuff I have for later. Yeah. <laughs> now I I'm 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 really happy though that we're all doing this because it's it's I, I think it's well it's expensive, but it's high time we all definitely upgraded because we be, we are all using older stuff. <clears throat> like, oh granted, boy, yeah. Granted, it's working 
you know, mm-hmm. some better than others. Uh, but it's it's definitely uh you know it's it was time it was time for us to definitely upgrade our, our equipment um you know for all you and chat out there my computer literally came with windows 7 before windows 10 came out that's how old my thing is yeah i was the one of the ones that got the free upgrade to windows 10. so <laughs> hang on this this computer no well, parts of this computer, uh, parts of this computer were in my previous system and that originally had Windows 7 on it and I got the free upgrade to Windows 10. Now, I had got to a point, I had upgraded everything, but, uh, but the motherboard, I think? No, but, but the, um hard drive <laughs> and, <laughs> and and so finally microsoft was like nah bro you ain't switching that over you gotta buy a license key and i was Fuck. like i was like mm, nah so i called nah. microsoft i called microsoft and i was like hey I, so i got this free upgrade to windows 10 you know i i recently replaced a component on my PC, which was like literally fucking everything. Uh, and uh, <laughs> they don't need to know that. And I was like, and it's wanting me to activate Windows with the license key. I'm just trying to, I'm kind of confused. This is a, a free upgrade to Windows 10. I don't know why I'm having to pay for it. And the guy was like, well, look, and he like looked up my Microsoft account and he was like, well, looking at it, uh, you've upgraded almost everything except the hard drive. And I was like, yeah, that's where Windows is stored. <laughs> and, and he was like, okay. Uh, well, so it's basically a different computer. I was like, no, it's still in the same case, like same hard drive. It's <laughs> like, no, still, still the same yeah. computer. It's just it's same fucking com- dick to hell. It's, the skin's the same. It's just different guts. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, all right. And I, what are you, like, PCist? Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I was trying to be as nice as I could. You know, I was like, you know, I was like, this is just a long shot. Like, worst case scenario, I'll buy a key. Because you can get those for like 20 bucks online. Um, and, yeah. uh, and so I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, like, I mean, if I really need to buy one, I will. I'm just, you know, like, I would be a really happy customer if I were to, you know, maybe not have to upgrade. <laughs> He was like, well, let me see what I can do. And so he puts me on hold for like half an hour. And I'm assuming he was waiting in queue to talk to his manager. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to talk to Microsoft managers. I mean, and, it's fucking Microsoft, yeah. so yeah. And uh, so he comes back and he's like, all right, we'll give it to you on this one. I was like, sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. He's like, I'm not done. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, fucker. Yeah. He was like, if one more component on this PC changes, you're going to have to buy another one. And I was like, all right, fair enough. That's that's I can agree to that. I'm fine. I'm happy with that. And so, yeah, uh, that was an interesting. <laughs> I'm amazed I pulled it off. But <laughs> I thought that was God I threw the skin of your of fucking teeth. Yeah. And he was like, I'll I'll give you this one. You gotta buy it on the next one. I was like, all right, <laughs> we'll do. Like, uh but honestly, I, I even though I have Windows ten and Windows ten works fine, I still prefer Windows seven. I, I would love to go back to Windows seven. I might call him and see if I can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> just get the same guy that's been working there forever and he's just like, Oh fuck this asshole. He's like, Didn't you call like fucking five years ago? Like what the hell? <laughs> like You just make your voice deeper. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll I'll do it on here, get like a Google voice number and be like, No, this is uh this is his this dad. This is Jamuel Surfer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Jamuel Surfer. I don't know why he has the same email as me. It's weird. <laughs> man gmail really be fucking with emails man yeah. you know what i'm saying because i because i am moving the ssd that has windows over to the new one eventually i'm going to be migrating that to the nvme but um uh, but it, or what i might just do is to just install fresh and then just buy a license key but i don't know well it's just 20 i don't know I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out yeah the os is kind of one of those things you're just like eh i'll figure it out when i get there yeah i could do windows but if i really feel cheap i'll just install debian or some shit yeah I, i've got some experience I with linux say, but and i could do it but i, I, I don't say, want to i yeah i don't want I to try to dabble that. in my my uh, virgin pc ways a long time ago sam convinced me to dabble with linux 
<laughs> that was a mistake. I fully admit to that. That like, was yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah. It was horrible. He's like, what do you mean you need to use the fucking command prompt to download anything? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, use the fucking command prompt. Put yeah. in some code, motherfucker. Fucking I can just picture Sam going... <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, the reason was, I got yeah. into it one, that's mostly what my stepdad gets is uh, like runs and like you know he, his entire setup is Linux, um, and uh, and I had bought a laptop from a uh, from an old acquaintance. We'll just put it that way, and uh, <laughs> and so I got this laptop. This this laptop was two months old, maybe three, and he. This guy, this is back when LimeWire was a thing, right? Oh, and, yes. And so this guy got the brand new laptop, immediately downloads LimeWire, downloads like seven songs. It fucking bricks the computer. <laughs> and uh, and so what he does is he reinstalls Windows and then tries the same fucking seven songs again. Jesus. And so uh, by the end of it, I had I went over to his house. I was hanging out. And he was like, uh, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new laptop. I was like, oh, damn, why? And he's like, this one just uh, keeps getting viruses. I can't get rid of them. I was like, oh, dang. Well, if you don't want it, I'll buy it off you. And he's like, he's like, all right, yeah, you can, uh, you can buy it. Uh, he's like about like a hundred bucks. And this was like a, probably a thousand dollar laptop at the time. I was about to say, yeah. he's so <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking sold. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, bet, let's do it. And so I bought it. When I got into it, he didn't, he, di he didn't, he didn't wipe the old versions of Windows, he just installed new ones every time. By the time I was done cleaning uh, it up, I had cleaned uh, seven versions of Windows off of that Jesus PC. Jesus Christ. I remember this. Yep. And uh, so, shout out to you, man. Thanks for the laptop forever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but also, at the same time, kind of fuck you. But, uh, and, um, and so I originally, I just reinstalled Win Windows and was good. But then that's when I started dabbling in Linux. Uh, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? And so I had my stepdad kind of teach me a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's fun. Not for me personally. Like you can do a lot with it. Yeah, but same. Yeah, not the stuff that I really need to do because I'm just gaming. And gaming on Linux is possible, but harder than on Windows. Yeah, it is a lot more code involved. Uh, yeah. With Linux, I know how to use it. I've used it, but... For the things I need, I need my computer to do. I don't need Linux. No. I I, I want to put out a PSA real quick. Um, <clears throat> as we're talking about building PCs and purchasing PCs and things of that nature, there. Um, and I'm going to preface this by saying, I have a friend who works at this certain location. This is by no means a direct reflection of you, because um, this guy builds his own PCs. Um, he just works there uh, at this certain uh, store uh, to in a different department, but uh, I don't want that to be a negative reflection on him because he's a great guy. Uh, do not buy PCs from big box retailers. Correct. Period. Point blank. Yeah. Period. Here's why. Oh boy. So, well, little so, story. So you can buy, like, let me let me clarify that just a little bit. If it's like a fucking Dell Optiplex, you know, whatever, you know, like if it's like strictly just for like a family computer or something like that, go ahead and fucking buy it. Those are fine. Uh, yeah, I'm speaking. I'm speaking from perspective of what we're doing. Yeah. When we're talking for, like the, for, the gaming PCs, mo yeah, more than anything. Gaming, editing, things like that. Yeah. And we're not we're not wrapping Apple into this shit because I know I can I can hear the Apple the the herd. Uh, heading this way. Oh, Apple's great for editing. Apple, a edit on Apple, 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 uh, 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 Apple. Fuck all the Apple people. No, what we're talking about here, we've done our own research, we did our own things, and we came to our own conclusions. Yep. <clears throat> so, the things that you need to know about buying a PC from a big box retailer. Uh, these are pre-built, uh, more than likely, and this is probably 98% of the time, and yes, I'm putting a statistic on it. Uh, you are going to get something that is easily two or more generations old and refurbished uh also refurbished uh you're not gonna get high-end specs a uh, little story for a moment when i was first shopping for pcs uh i had seen a tower pop up on a uh ad on facebook uh on the marketplace i clicked it talked to this guy come to find out it was a 19 year old i believe it was who had bought this pc thinking he was going to get into streaming i remember this <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> he was selling he was selling selling an old old in our perspective old alienware monitor 
uh, and his tower. And he didn't put any specs on the actual ad. I was like, well, can you tell me the specs? He goes, well, I can tell you when I get home. I said, okay, cool. And uh, he messages me and I knew he didn't know what he was talking about because he messaged me when he got home. He goes, where do I find the list of specs? Oh, and I God. went. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, already at that point, I would have been like, all right, bye. Now, as much of a novice as I am with PCs, I at least knew how to navigate that. So I tell him, he sends me a picture of it and I'm looking, I'm like, hang on a second. You can get this at Best Buy. Well, I went, that looks <laughs> oddly familiar. And I'm doing some more research. I'm like, I owned that PC once before. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that's you had that one tower. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this was a tower who I had bought from uh, Alan, who was on the show previously. Um, Alan sold me his old tower uh, that he had bought from a big box retailer. At the time, it did what I needed it to. It did fine. But, you know, after that, it was not the greatest in the world. Um, and so this kid's trying to sell this to basically make his money back. And so he has this tower, which I would have paid $500 for tops, tops. I, I would have paid like 400 for that thing. Yeah, this dude's trying to sell it for like 800, 900 bucks. Mm -mm. He had a bundle with a monitor for 1300. Fuck no, not no alien monitor, <laughs> anywhere monitor. Oh, 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 Jesus. Yeah. So because and, and this is where this is where it gets bad is because when you go buy these big box retailer pre-builds, uh, they're overpricing them <clears throat> because 100%. they have to, they, they put their market, they put their market value over it, you know, uh, or rather there's market value and they put their uh, overhead on it to make money back on these things. Now, keep in mind, they're buying these parts and Anderson hit the nail on the head. A lot of these parts can be refurbished. You don't know it, but a lot of them can be uh, because if the part works fine, like say if somebody goes to this certain store uh, that's big and blue and also has a yellow tag as their logo, um, if you go to the certain store and buy a part and say said part just doesn't fit what you need and you go to return it. Well, they send it to their warehouse. The warehouse confirms everything works fine with it. <clears throat> now it's marked refurbished and there's two places it can either go. It can either go somewhere else to be put into a pre-build or back to the store to be resold on a, on a clearance shelf, basically. But more than likely it'll go to the pre-builds because a lot of them do get sold. <clears throat> Key topic, key things here. Number one, those pre-builds are, uh, all the pieces are glued in. You can't change them. Nope. Well, they're not even glued, it's soldered. Well, it depends on it. Like well, if, if it's like plastic pieces, like they'll they'll glue those. Or like they'll like, true, pla yeah. like plastic weld them sometimes too. Like it's crazy. And what they don't tell you is if you buy the extended warranty on them and let's oh, say you God. want to upgrade a part. Well, your extended warranty, let's say you had this, you bought this PC a year ago, right? Your extended warranty is for three years. You have two years left on it. And you go, you know what? I knew I want a new graphics card. And you go in and you peel all the glue off or fix, you know, knock the solder out of there and hopefully don't ruin everything else in the process. And you go to get a new graphics card. Well, if you say want to use your warranty and get something taken care of in it and you ship it in, guess what? Your warranty's voided. Why? Because you damaged the solder and or glue that was holding it in. Yep. Yep, and on top of that, uh, that's why when you have these pre-builds, even laptops or pre-built PCs, when you go in and if you actually open it up, you'll see various stickers that say, uh, if removed, vo warranty is void. And if you cut those stickers, damage them in any way, your warranty, no matter extended, full warranty, Apple warranty, it's all void if you yep, mess yep. those stickers. That's why when IT personnel go into it and they're like a separate IT business or anything like that, they ask the person if they bring in a new computer that's having an OS issue or a hard drive issue, if they really want them to work on it because if they bought a warranty, that whole 200 bucks you bought for that warranty or whatever is gone once we break that sticker. Immediately, yep. immediately. Yep. <clears throat> now, <laughs> that and of, a, and of a nutshell, Sam, you you hit the nail on the head. If you're using this for purposes of being able to just have as a family PC where you want to be able to get on your Facebook every once in a while or go watch a YouTube video or something, that's fine. That's fine. You get a little RGB action to make your living room look a little spicy, you know, if you want to have some fun with it. But in reality, uh, it's literally 
<clears throat> a glorified footrest for people like us. Uh, because the things that we do on our PCs, we need the power, we need the support, and we also need uh, something that isn't a few generations old. That's why we're upgrading mm -hmm. our parts now. Uh, uh, also, I want to add in on that. Speaking of power, do your research. If you're going to go build a PC or anything like that, do your research on power supplies because that does matter, especially yeah. when it comes to your power bill and everything like that. That I'll just leave it at that. Go do your yeah. research. Research the uh, standards and certificates with power uh, supplies and everything like that, because you will definitely be glad what you did when your power bill comes around. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Spaztech uh, chimed in on that. All depends on the company that does the build. <laughs> Best Buy also sells uh, last gen I buy power, uh, so like the older old shit. Uh, avoid no name brands like the Plague, and that yes, hundred percent. Now there are some yes. good kind of boutique uh custom builders i buy power kind of is one of those uh, main gear origin there's a bunch of them uh those can yeah, but you be... gotta really scope them out yeah you gotta find a reputable one uh, most of the ones yeah. i just named there are relatively reputable um but that's actually i buy power was one that i was going through originally yeah and so like and those are totally fine um to build you are just you gotta keep in mind you're paying a premium for them to build it uh for you um, you're paying for the labor yeah but those can typically be all right. And then, yeah, and if any, if they have any pre-builts that, cause like I buy power and a couple others, we'll just have a pre-built that's just ready to go. Like you just, they just ship it out uh, instead of doing like a full custom build. Those can be a little cheaper. Yep. Yeah, you can sometimes get some good ones, but then if they have any old ones, they might sell them to companies like the big, the blue one with the yellow tag in the middle. So. Well, I'll say, um, speaking on iBuy Power real quick, I know somebody who did use that. As a matter of fact, they are in our Discord. Shout out to SVG Ro um, uh, Black Rose, I believe is his gamer tag uh, or his handle. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, SVG Black Rose. Um, he, uh, he streams. <clears throat> so shout out to him. Check him out. He's, he has a lot of fun on Tarkov. Uh, but he actually uh, came to me and bought a tower through iBuyPower and showed me the unboxing. He actually sent me a full you know video of him unboxing it. Mm. I'll tell you right now, it was it was it was a clean build, man. Like it, they did a really good job with it. Yeah. Um, and he he got all the parts. Uh, the biggest factor was the, just having to wait for certain parts. Yeah. <clears throat> but the thing is, and and that's one thing I appreciate is instead of buying something that's such an older gen, uh, because a lot of places like the big box retailers. Their job is to sell you on what they have, not what they're going to have. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they because they have to get the stuff off the shelf to free up space for all the stuff that's coming in. So with uh, I buy power, though, in these boutique places, uh, a lot of them are going to say, hey, this is just a heads up. We see that you want this kind of stuff in your build, but the problem is a couple of these parts aren't going to be in for a few weeks, so you're going to be waiting. But they give you these estimated time frames. They they keep you up to date. It's a very very professional atmosphere to be able to do this because mm -hmm. a, a lot of times you know you'll go to these places and, and buy parts and they're going to be like, okay, great, you bought it, but now you're going to know it's not coming in for six weeks. It's like, yeah. What? Yeah, but if they're professional about it and let you know up front, that's a big plus on their side because they're showing you like when it's going to come in, when the wait time is, but it's also showing you that they're actually building it by hand. Yeah. And they they're also, not just picking something off the shelf. It's building trust. Yep. It's building a level of trust because you're not you're not seeing firsthand who's building these things. Hmm. You know, you're not you're not meeting the person in Farmville, <laughs> you know, who built it <laughs> with his own two hands. Say, here, I built this tower for you. Like, no, you're trusting that a company is going to do exactly what you want and build it correctly and beautifully. I might add, yeah. it was done very well. Uh, everything was cable managed very well. Like he, uh, he, like I said, he showed me all this. It looked fantastic. There's but that's a the big factor to that is is that level of professionalism of being able to get what you want mm -hmm. knowing when you can get it and not getting something that's so old that in six months you're gonna be like well shit yeah there's I a can't play anything coming out yeah going back to linus tech tips for a second uh, he has a whole series called secret shopper and um and what that does uh, what he does is he'll call uh, he'll have one of it like his assistants like one of the people that work in the office with him that doesn't really necessarily know a whole lot about computers he'll have them call um most of the major pc like like gaming pc builders um and uh have them you know go through the process of trying to spec out a computer how much it would cost any extra services and then they review the build once it comes in and then they also review the technical support after the fact and it's a fantastic series. I highly recommend you go watch it because, like, uh, like Dell, for example, because they they oh. own they own Alienware and they make great components.